I love gold. And that's what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about a game where you can hunt for gold in a survival NFT style uh, atmosphere. And this is one of the coolest concepts that I've seen for an NFT enabled game where you can really play to earn. And the focus of the game itself is around the play to earn elements. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today I'm talking all about an NFT survival focused game that is all about play to earn. Now, a lot of the play to earn games I talk about, you know, the game is not necessarily focused 100 percent on this element. It is a part of the game, but it's not the focus of the game. Well, that is definitely not the case here with today's game, and it's all focused on playing and earning in a super fun way that I have never seen before on the blockchain. So the high quality of this game has me incredibly excited, and I cannot wait to jump in to play this game. Uh, before we get into all of that, I, I break down the game itself. If you love games, NFTs, and earning money in crypto, then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and smash that like button if you want to continue to maximize your gaming profits with me. Okay, so let's go take a look at today's game because this is something that uh, really got me excited when I saw the game, the look of it, the feel of it, and the overall goal of what you're doing in this game. And this game is called Gold Fever. All right, so here we are at the Gold Fever website, and just looking at it here, I think you get a pretty good idea of where we're going. This is a survival RPG game that uh, takes place in the jungle on uh, these, you know, several, like a very large main island that is surrounded by some smaller islands, right? And you are essentially uh, creating a character, and it has all the classic survival type of elements in it, which we're going to dive into right now. But what you uh, essentially do is this is a, a, a battle between the adventurers, which are like these, uh, you know, I would say it's almost 1920s or 1930s feeling, maybe even a little bit uh, older, maybe like uh, early 1900s feeling adventurer style. And uh, you're, you're hunting for gold. You're looking and, and trying to pan uh, or, 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 you know, mine for gold. Uh, in this kind of Amazon looking setting. Now the other uh, side of, of the other faction, there's basically two factions, there's the adventurers and then there's the tribals. And the tribals are like the natives and they're trying to uh, not let you take the gold from the land, right? This is their sacred ancestral gold and they are going to hunt you and kill you and take it back and uh, you know bring it back to to their their uh, you know tribal totems. So uh, that's kind of the the the, the gameplay and and where the the actual adversity comes from or or the antagonist, right? So you're either an adventurer trying to extract gold or you're a tribal trying to take the gold from the adventurers once they've got it and return it back to your base. So when it comes down to the play to earn element, what you're the, this gold that you're essentially hunting for uh, is actually an ERC twenty token called NGL. This is their in-game uh, token that represents the gold in the game. And uh, like I said, as an adventurer, you're trying to dig it up and uh, you, you know, uh, work together with uh, your fellow adventurers to then stave off the, the tribals. And then as a tribal, if you pick that side, you're going after these adventurers trying to, to hunt them down, kill them and take their gold. And so it's kind of this, uh, you know, it's kind of this, uh, um, you know, um, battle arena in a way, you know, even though it's just two different uh, tribes here, which I think is very interesting, but it's combined with a, a, a survival game. So you do have different classes for each one, uh, each one of the factions, uh, and they have kind of different uh, attributes. So the classes of each tribe or, or I mean of each uh, fraction, they have to work together because if you don't work together, you're not going to be able to mine the maximum amount of gold. And so that's really the goal here in each one of these, uh, each one of these matches, right? These gameplay matches. So uh, not only are you kind of, you know, worried about uh, PVP from the other side. So if you're an adventure, you always have to look out for tribals uh, while you're trying to mine for gold and pan for gold. 
but you also have to look out for animal attacks, right? So there's, uh, you know, different animals out there that can definitely kill you. And then there's also uh, climate uh, concerns. So things like disease or dehydration or starvation, right? So you have to, just like any classic survival game, you have to keep those things up. You have to keep yourself well hydrated. You got to keep uh, eating. You also have to make sure that, uh, you know, you have uh, survival items like shelter. Because if you're out in the rain for too long, you may catch a disease and die. <laughs> we definitely don't want that. So it has all these really classic type of survival elements to it, uh, which I love. Now, when it comes to how NFTs are represented in this game, uh, the NFTs represent all of the different uh, structures that you can build, which is one of the main things. So any of the buildings that are, you, you have in your camp, like banks or stables or bars or landing strips or even donkey stables, right? Uh, you know, things like that. So uh, these, uh, these things will be represented by NFTs. And this is how you can kind of upgrade yourself. And then same thing for like man, uh, uh, mining for gold. You have kind of like your rock boxes, which are the bigger mining rigs. And then you have things like panning for gold. And depending on where you are, you may have to pan, you may have to use, uh, you know, certain different items. So uh, there's a lot there when it comes down to using these NFTs to, um, to really, you know, better yourself in the game and to build something up that is going to uh, mine the maximum amount of gold in that play session, right? So uh, you, you can kind of uh, decide which style you want to go. Do you want to go adventurer or do you want to go tribal? And uh, the, the, there's also crafting in this game. So you're also hunting for resources and resources are very rare in the game. So uh, when you craft, uh, you can actually sell these items uh, as in their actual NFTs. So you're crafting these NFTs from rare resources. And then you could even just open up a store. So even if you don't want to uh, go around uh, panning for gold or killing adventurers for gold, you can actually just open up a store and start selling things uh, and selling NFTs. And so I think that uh, the crafting of this, this game is actually going to be quite interesting too and another way to actually play to earn. So they're giving you multiple ways in this game to, to play to earn and uh, you know that are fitting for different play styles, which I love. I love the fact that you can be all kinds of these different things. Now, when it comes to the gameplay, one of the unique aspects of this is to uh, start a match. What they're essentially saying is that you are going to have to buy a mining claim. And these mining claims are purchased from the game developers themselves, the company, and these mining claim are, 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 I think they're going for like one Ethereum, which is pretty expensive. And so what you essentially do is this one Ethereum that you've now paid for this mining claim, it has more than one Ethereum worth of NGL in, in, in tied into this NFT. So this mining claim is represented by an NFT and uh, it, there's a, a more than, than one ETH amount of NGL uh, locked into this mining claim. You use the mining claim to start a match for players to enter and the players uh, can enter and pay a fee. So they're paying a fee in NGL to play your match. And so then they are then gonna be out there going and looking for uh, you know either tribals or adventures, trying to get the maximum amount of NGL out of this mining claim. And so I'm going to assume what's going to happen here is that you know maybe you put up a, a map and uh, you have this one eighth mining claim and people are then paying, you know, we'll say, I don't know, just average 10 or to 20 NGL entry fee per player. Uh, you make uh, that money back on that. And then the fact is they may not actually find or mine all of the NGL gold in the game. And so therefore you walk away with whatever is left over. So, you know, that might be an interesting uh, aspect. If you want to play and earn that kind of way, you can kind of be bankrolling some of these games. Now they didn't go. They don't go into too crazy amount of detail on that, uh, on how that might work or how the scenarios might actually play out. But uh, I do think that it is a very interesting way of going about this. That they do really focus the game on being play to earn, and that is the point of this game: is you're playing and you're trying to uh, either side you are you're trying to earn the NGL token, which is the gold in the game, and uh, you know extract as much as you possibly can from each mining claim, uh, so you can walk away with that gold and with that money. So, and they, they do it all in this very interesting way. And so you can kind of see some of the aspects of the game here. Uh, we'll play this video so you guys can see it because I thought this was pretty fun. Gotta watch out for crocodiles. But you can see, like, it already has a really cool look to it. Like I said, early 1900s, you know, they got the biplanes in there. Uh, and so you have, like, landing strips and whatnot. Uh, 
but the graphics already look amazing so i like i said i can't wait to get in this game and start playing in this world right go adventurer go tribal it doesn't matter you're after that gold baby So you can see the adventurers kind of coming down to this river because there's vast uh, riches that have been found here and they're fighting against the natives the tribals that already live here and uh you know they, they don't want uh they don't want their gold stolen the tribals don't want their gold stolen is their ancestral gold So, I mean, it looks great when you, come, when you look at the actual graphics of this game. I'm excited for this game. Uh, I hope you guys are too. And uh, I, I, I don't know exactly when this game is going to be launching. It is still in development, obviously. Uh, but, you know, with the, the format of the game, I think this is something that can be developed pretty quickly. It looks like they already have a really good, uh, you know, start on the game. So look forward to launch pretty soon. And you know I'm going to give you an update on this because I am ready to get in there and get some gold, baby. All right, well, I hope you guys like this breakdown. Let me know what you think of, uh, of Gold Fever, if you got the Gold Fever, uh, in the comments below. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.